Hi, I'm Miss Wood and I'm going to be reading The Foolish Tortoise. Pictures by Eric Carle, written by Richard Buckley. So if Eric Carle says pictures by him, what do we call him? If you said illustrator, pat yourself on the back. Now what about Richard Buckley? If it says written by him, what do we call him? The author. Go ahead and pat yourself if you got that right. And here we have our title page, The Foolish Tortoise. A tortoise, tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go. Took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Though faster, he was not express, and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind his knees. I don't feel safe. There's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up. The tortoise bled. How do you think he's feeling? Along his way, our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. How do you think that tortoise is feeling now? A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat Google-eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. So, so brave. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight. He climbed back in and said, good night. And that is the end of The Foolish Tortoise. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.